We're going to have a look at the WPS500 pressure transducer measuring oil pressure. Let's run the animation and discuss how we'll connect and how we apply this tool for oil pressure measurements. So in this scenario, four cylinder engine and we're looking at oil pressure. Here we have a cutaway of the engine. Picoscope, of course, and then the pressure transducer. So we'll switch on the pressure transducer and make sure the test board is open to atmosphere. That's our calibration. And for this test, we're going to use range two. Uh, remove oil pressure switch. That might be a transducer or however you can connect to the main oil gallery. Of course, follow manufacturer instructions for this test. Start the engine and then look at the oil pressure response there with uh, operation of the gas pedal. So as the gas pedal goes down, we see an instant response from the pressure transducer. So what about faults? Here we have uh, contaminated oil strainer. This is a fault I have seen numerous vehicles. So you will have oil pressure, but certainly under load, under wide open throttle acceleration, you will not achieve peak oil pressure. Notice also the rise time there is very slow. Let's take a look at those two oil pressure waveforms from a good and a bad vehicle a little bit closer using Picoscope. Referring to the oil pressure captures we saw in the animation, we've used the reference waveform feature of Picoscope here. So we'll see here that we have the um, contaminated strainer, so we aren't getting that peak oil pressure that we would expect. The light blue waveform here, that is the good vehicle. So we've got a difference, a, a huge difference under acceleration, uh, six bar compared to two bar. And if we use the uh, full screen view, yeah, that really brings it home, doesn't it? What a difference, what a contrast that we have. If we bring out the time rulers, we can see that the rise time, how rapid we go from this uh, idle pressure, accelerate the engine, and we've climbed considerably in a very short space of time. Yeah, already there we're up to 4.3 bar. So as you can see, using a single connection into the oil gallery, we're able to plot oil pressure against time and very quickly detect any underlying issues with the lubrication system.